Welcome, my name is Venomous Survivor, and I'm bringing you another Pokemon Battle versus Sean. Let's go. Now this was a long while ago, so I don't remember really anything about this battle. Hopefully it's not a complete embarrassment. But this is a bad matchup for Ferrothorn, so I'm going to switch Ferrothorn right out, because he can get maybe one-shotted by that camera up. Bring in good old Rotom. And that Levitate just completely dodged that Earth Power. I retaliate with the Hydro Pump, and look at that. One hit KO on the camera up. That was a bad idea. So Diancy comes out. Um, I switch Rotom out. Because I don't know what Diancy can do, so I'm scared. Bring back in Ferrothorn to try and resist anything it goes for. And Moonblast, so Ferrothorn will resist that very nicely. But we've got a special attack drop, but that doesn't matter because Ferrothorn uses physical attack. That Diamond Storm ain't doing anything to us, I'm afraid. Diancy did get the defense rise. I set up with a very nice stealth rock indeed. So Diancy is withdrawn. And Sceptile comes out, which I'm not sure what Sceptile can do against their Ferrothorn, to be honest. But that's a good prediction, if it was, because, you know, I can't leech seed a grass type. So I bring in Age Slash to resist grass types. Now it goes for Dig, which two turn moves are just terrible. Because I could, or I could just King Shield just like that. And yeah, Sceptile's attack will harshly fall. That Dragon Claw didn't do anything against us. I take this opportunity to set up a little sword stance. Because why not? Okay, another dig. I thought he would have learned that dig didn't work. Yeah, I am really setting up here. I let him have that dig. Because I want to get a attack off. Here we go. Stance change. Sacred Sword. And look at that. Sceptile did not stand a chance against a plus four Age Slash. So Latias comes in, but I can just Shallow Sneak it. And boom. There you go. One hit KO. Goodbye, Latias. I'm sorry. Diancy comes back out. Again, that Stealth Rock damage. I switch out because I felt pity on him. I didn't just want to uh, sweep his entire team with Edge Slash and make it boring. I wanted to at least give him a chance. So I bring in my Mega. Kangaskhan, who took a lot of damage there. I don't like Kangaskhan, I hate the Mega, it's just terrible in my opinion. Probably get a lot of hate for that, but bring it on. Luckily that Parental Bond ability did take up the Diancy there. Those two hits there with the Earthquake. Okay, Guard of War comes in. Looking a bit uh, dangerous. But I got Crunch. Of course, Gardevoir is a Psychic and Fighting type, so it won't be super effective. I got a Defense Drop. Magical Leaf. Okay, I mean, I was pretty confused about his choice of moves. And that Dizzy Punch will take up the Gardevoir. And Slowbro comes out, his final Pokemon and his Mega. There you go, two Megas versus each other. Now Mega Slowbro has got a very high amount of physical defense. So 
so he will take that outrage pretty nicely. Yeah, just look at that. My god, slow bro. He goes for Sir, which does eventually take out my Mega Kangaskhan. Now I bring in Ferrothorn, who's going to absorb all of his attacks and go for like a Seed Bomb. Psychic ain't doing very much, I'm afraid, I'm sorry. There's the Seed Bomb. And Slowbro tanks that, my god. Slowbro, calm down. <laughs> the funny thing is, he kills himself. Iron Barbs and then Rocky Helmet. So really, he killed himself in this match. Okay. And that was that battle. I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, cheerio.